Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dr. Shivam's Academy. If you are walking into this little space for the first time, I am Dr. Shivam and I make videos on everything. Guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about anosmia. Yes guys, anosmia. So let's learn what is anosmia, what are its main causes, its symptoms and is it curable or not? If yes, then what is its treatment? So guys, do watch this video till the end and get to know each and everything about anosmia. Guys, if you have loss of smell, then make sure you watch this video because this video is for you guys. During this COVID-19 pandemic situation, many of you guys have lost your smell as well as lost your taste. Both loss of smell and loss of taste has been a classical symptom of COVID-19. Some would have got their senses back, some wouldn't have got it. This loss of smell, the complete loss of smell is termed as parosmia. It can be temporary, it can also be permanent. So what could be the main reason for anosmia? COVID-19. Yes guys, it is one of the reasons, but it is not the only reason for anosmia or even parosmia. Guys, apart from this, there are many other reasons like nasal congestion due to cold. If you have got cold and you have nasal congestion, it can again be the reason why you do not get smell sense. Apart from this, if you have nasal allergy or if you have sinus infection, they can also lead to anosmia. Apart from this, if you have developed nasal polyps in your nasal cavity, or if you have a deviated nasal septum, which means if your nasal septum is deviated or tilted towards one of the sides, it can also be a reason for loss of smell. Then again, damage to your brain or damage to your olfactory pathway can also be the reason for it. Most of the COVID-19 patients develop loss of smell because there is a damage of your olfactory pathway or the olfactory nerve which is present in the nasal cavity. If that gets damaged, then COVID patients develop loss of smell. What are its symptoms? How do you get to know whether you have anosmia or not? Guys, it's obvious that anyone suffering from parosmia or anosmia will certainly have loss of smell. It can either be complete loss of smell or partial loss of smell or alteration in your smell sense. For example, familiar things may lack odor. It could be something like a smell of a chemical or a rotten fruit or a burnt toast. It can be something of that sort, but you will not be able to, you know, smell the same sense that you could about your favorite scent or your favorite flower or any of the other things of that sort. Most of the people suffering from anosmia may undergo psychological changes like they are sad most of the time, they undergo depression or they lose the interest to eat food. So what could be the treatment of anosmia? Guys, if you are suffering from cold, then make sure you take the specific medicine and get rid of your cold. And if you are allergic to something, then make sure you stay far away from that particular thing and if you have sinusitis or sinus infection consult the doctor and get the treatment as early as possible apart from this if you develop a nasal polyp then make sure you go for a surgical removal of your nasal polyp and if you have a deviated nasal septum again make sure you go for a surgery and get your nasal septum straightened straighten your nasal septum if there is any damage to the olfactory pathway or your olfactory nerve then there's a treatment called olfactory training or smell training in this treatment in this training you train your nose to inhale different odors in order to train your brain to accept the odors and understand what odors they are so what's important is to train your brain to recognize different odors because any of the nerves present in your body has a direct connection with your brain. So even if I pinch myself, the imp nerve impulse goes to the brain and that says pain. Similarly, when you inhale something, your olfactory nerves send the nerve impulses to the brain about a specific odor and that's how your brain remembers or recognizes a specific order. So 
what is olfactory training guys i have made a lot of videos on olfactory training and i have uploaded on my channel dr shivam's academy but still i'll give you a brief idea about what is olfactory training in this video guys in this olfactory training you choose some strong odors like lemon ginger uh, karpur camphor what you call eucalyptus oil rose flower or rose oil you choose some different strong odors and you inhale them like you know for 15 seconds you inhale rose oil eucalyptus oil then camphor then lemon in that way you inhale different odors in that way you train your nerve or you train your brain to recognize these different odors this procedure has to be done at least twice or thrice a day with at least four different odors and that's how within 2 to 3 weeks you can expect your smell sense to get back to normal apart from this it is very important that you guys eat yes guys eat nutritious food eat food which is rich in zinc iron these things will help you drink more and more water keep yourself hydrated because if you do not eat if you do not drink water you will become weak and that's again going to be a different medical problem so make sure you eat you drink and practice olfactory training you can go and check out the detailed video on what is olfactory training and how you have to do it i have made a video both in english as well as in hindi so it will help you i'll put the videos this a uh, link in the description box so that it becomes quite easy for you to go and watch the video that's it for today's video i hope this video was informative to you guys and you know everything about anosmia now if you like my video then make sure you click the like button if you have doubts any question in your mind you can ask me your question in the comment section and i'll answer to all the questions yes guys i'll answer to all the questions and make sure you share this video with all your friends family members relatives and everyone you know so that anyone suffering from anosmia or parosmia this video is certainly going to help them and yes guys if you haven't subscribed my channel dr shivam academy yet make sure you go and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notification to all my upcoming videos till then stay safe take care of yourself and your family members thank you guys